Hello everyone, um, Daniel Fairless here with the uh, Portable College Smart Lab and we're back with you today for a, another video, another science video. Um, today we're going to be working with a process called uh, capillary action, um, some water, some food coloring. We're going to have uh, red food coloring, yellow, and blue. Uh, half sheets of paper towels. You're going to need seven cups of the same size. Um, just the three of them are going to remain empty. Four of them are going to be filled most of the way with water. And through a process called capillary action, of which I'll be explaining here uh, in greater detail shortly, we're going to make a rainbow. All right, so right now I'm gonna tilt the camera down. Dalton's gonna be doing the demonstration. I'm gonna be behind the camera um, discussing what's going on as we continue. Okay, so the basic process right here. First of all, we're going to fold our paper towels into the desired shape. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that half sheet of paper towel, fold it in half long ways. Be sure to crease it rather firmly so that it holds its shape. I'm gonna fold it in half long ways again. Now, you're gonna take that long and you're gonna fold it in half in the middle right there so that you have two ends that you're gonna stick down into your cup at the appropriate time. So you should have something like that when you're done. You're gonna need six of those in total. So he's gonna move that to the side. He's gonna get his water cup set up, show you what to do. So you take one full cup, place an empty cup next to it, another full cup. He's gonna get them centered so that we can see them in the camera. Empty cup, full cup, you're gonna alternate you have all seven cups lined up. So he's going to take now his red food coloring and put approximately four drops, give or take, inside the first cup of water. Okay. The next cup with water in it is going to get yellow food coloring. Same four drops, give or take. You can add a little more if you like. You want a little deeper color, it's fine. Then he's gonna use the blue. And for the last cup of water in, he's gonna go back to the red. He's gonna put red in the last cup. Okay, once he has that in there, he's gonna take his folded up paper towel and place it first in the cup of red and into the empty cup, push it down to the bottom so that it's way down in there. I'm gonna repeat the process. It's gonna go into the empty cup and into the next cup of water. The ends resting on the bottom of the cups. And he's going to get the final one in there. Okay. Now, this process you need to do, first of all, a little disclaimer. You're going to need to set this project up somewhere where you can leave these cups of water with the paper towels in them for an extended period of time. It takes a while for the process to complete. Um, so don't do it somewhere where you're going, you need to use that table or countertop or anything um, immediately. Um, you need to, the best way is if you have, like I said, several hours to let it sit and uh, do its process. But through that process of capillary action, which involves the fibers in the paper towel, which is, they're made from wood, 
So the small fibers in there, um, the water molecules themselves are attracted to those fibers and they basically through a process of adhesion, cohesion, surface tension, it's going to wick up through the paper towel basically the same way as uh, the same, using the same process that happens when you clean up a spill with the paper towel. And that colored liquid is going to creep up into the paper towel and after a while, we're going to see what the finished product looks like and I'll talk about it just a little bit more. But if you look, you can see the blue creeping up into the, in the one cup a little bit, it's a little darker so it shows up a little quicker, but um, all of them are going to uh, have the same, same action. Okay, so for the sake of brevity in this, as I said, it was gonna take several hours and nobody wanted to watch a several hour video of what happened. We now have our cups. And if you look, all the cups have reached the state of equilibrium. The water level is the same in all seven cups. Starting on that side, we have our red, and then we had our yellow. And then if you look in between, the red and yellow combine to make orange. The yellow and the blue combine to make green. And the blue and the last cup of red combine to make purple. So starting from the red, going over, we have the colors of our rainbow. And this all happened through that capillary action process where those water molecules were attracted to those small fibers inside the paper towel, wicked up from the one down into the empty cup and combined to make a new color. And we did nothing to them. We didn't level these cups out. We didn't, didn't um, doctor them in any way. Just let it take its natural course. And there are the results. So this is a fun little activity you can do at home. Doesn't require much. You're basically all you need is some tap water, um, paper towels, some a uniform size of cups so it's a little easier to measure out and it, the colors come out even. And then a place that you can set this experiment up and let it, let it um, take its course. Like I said, it's gonna take several hours for it to get to this state. But um, once it does, it's really neat. It's neat to see that the uh, the water finds its uh, its level, you know, its equilibrium in that empty cup, and all of them are even and mixed evenly. So, something fun you can do at home doesn't require a whole lot. Hope you enjoyed this little video. Um, learned a little bit about capillary action. This process is basically, this is a, the same way that a tree would get water and take it up into the tree from the ground. Um, the same basic uh, process is in, occurring in the tree. Like I said, the same process is occurring when you're wiping up a spill with the paper towel. The same thing's going on. Obviously the, the colors aren't mixing and such, but that was just a visual effect so that you could see. Um, but anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you stay tuned for the next next one should be coming out to you shortly. Thank you again.